thank you, Lord. We bless you. We glorify you. Thank you for the eternal life you've given us. We're so eternally grateful, Lord, to know that we have a hope in our lives. Knowing that your son lives inside of us, so there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Thank you for raising us up to sit together with you in heavenly places and making us alive with Christ. Because we are in Christ, we are new creations. The old has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Everything that is in our life is new, Father. You have called us to walk in the newness of life. Thank you for making us alive with Christ. When we were dead in our sins, you raised us up. You made us alive, yes. quickened us together. So sin no longer has dominion over us because we have authority over sin, over sickness, over poverty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for redeeming us from the curse of the law. You became a curse for us, Jesus, so we can receive the blessing of Abraham. You've bought us, Father, brought us out of the powers of darkness into the kingdom of your dear Son. And you have given us a place of righteousness to stand right standing with you, Lord. Thank you for the goodness that you've shown toward us, the goodness and mercy that is following us all the days of our lives. Thank you for being our shepherd, Father, and we will never want. You make us to lie down in green pastures, lead us beside the still waters. Thank you for restoring our soul. And even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will not fear for we know your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Thank you for preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you for anointing our heads with oil, our cup runs over. Yes, Lord, that's the life you've called us to live. A running over life, a life that flows into many others so that they can shine they can receive the light that we have. We know that we serve you, Lord, as El Shaddai, Almighty God. Your grace that is more than enough for us. We praise you, we honor you, Lord. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for filling us with the Holy Ghost. To be witnesses for you in the place that we are, in the workplace that we are in. And wherever we go, Father, you're leading us to bring forth this light into many others. Hallelujah. Everything that is old is passed away. Thank you for setting us free from the curse of the law. Thank you for taking our place, Lord Jesus, and giving us freedom from the curse of sin, sickness, and poverty. We have authority over every unclean spirit. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory and we give you honor, Jesus. To know that we are saved. Hallelujah. Praise you. Praise you. Amen. Let's praise the Lord this morning. What a good God we serve. We know that the Lord's presence is here. Where he is, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. I believe the Lord is going to do new things in your life. Whatever you believe... That's exactly what's going to happen. When you put the word of God to work and you believe in faith, you will receive as you have believed. According to your faith, it shall be given unto you. And we'll be, you know, the first blessing that we have received is salvation in Christ. Romans chapter 10 verse 9, that's where our foundation is of how we receive Christ into our life. It says, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus... And believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. And this very verse that we're going to sing from, these two scriptures, the next verse, verse 10 also says, With the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. So what you believed in your heart, you confessed with your mouth. When we believe that Jesus is Lord and we say it out of our mouth, that's how you were saved. It's that simple. 
The price that Jesus had to pay was very heavy. But salvation for us to receive, it's so simple. But our hearts need to be open to say, yes, Lord, I receive you. And many of us who are already saved, it's good to be reminded of how we got saved. This scripture is really our foundation. That we confessed and we believed in our heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. And we confess Jesus as our Lord. That's how we got saved. You know, it's so simple how we came into the family of God. Our confession and our believing. That's how you were saved. And we're saved from eternal damnation. We know that we're not going to suffer forever in an eternal hell. But we know that our life is heading into eternity with Jesus in heaven. Hallelujah. Aren't you grateful that you have eternal life? Eternal life is to know Jesus and to know the life that he has for you. And we can carry this light wherever we go. You know, in our workplace, in our family, to those who don't know that. So they can receive the hope that we have. That's what this song is all about. It's a declaration from Romans 10, 9 and 10. That we are saved in Him. Hallelujah. We are saved in Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All of you joining us online, sing along and let's praise God together. And even if you have never received Jesus, if you have never received the Lord, or maybe you're not sure of your salvation, go back and read the scripture in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. And it assures you that when you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. You've got to confess Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And that's how simple it is to be saved. And the best part is God will never, He will never take away His salvation from you. He said that the, He has sealed us with His promise of the Holy Spirit. So forever, you've been saved. He's written your name in the Lamb's Book of Life when you've accepted Jesus as Lord. Believe that and be excited today that we've received the greatest gift of all, which is salvation. So rejoice along with us as we celebrate the salvation that he's given to us. Amen. Let's praise him. With my mouth, I believe Jesus is Lord and I am saved. Thank you, Jesus.
God, we are saved. Thank you, Jesus. And we all belong to one family in the Lord Jesus. There is no difference in Christ. In the book of, uh, I believe it's in Galatians, Paul says, There is no more male nor female, there is no Jew or Gentile, but we are all one in Christ Jesus. Yes. He gives us all the same identity. You know, He doesn't show difference to some and show some others more favor. The Lord doesn't do that. He's given us one identity. We are saved, we are redeemed and bought with the precious blood of Christ. That's how we stand boldly in the presence of God. When we say the word righteous, we are saying 
we are right standing with God. Because of the blood of Jesus, we can come boldly to his throne of grace. Yes. Just like a king when he lets down his scepter and someone can, anybody who needs to come can approach him only when he lets down the scepter. We see how the blood of Jesus, when we receive that, that's how we can approach the throne of God. Boldly, without any fear. And he has given us a brand new life. New creations in Christ Jesus. Let's sing about the new life that He has given us. A new way of living.
the spirit you've given us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's continue to sing about the new creation God has made us to be. The scripture from 2 Corinthians 5.17. It says, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. So shall we say that together? I am in Christ. I'm in Christ. And I am a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things have become new. God has called us to a new life. It's not like the old life that we have received or the old life that we were in. He takes away the old and he has made us new. And it's so important that we constantly declare that I am a new creation in Christ. Not declaring that I'm still a sinner. I'm still living the same way that I am. The more you talk about the new person you are, that's the person that you're going to start seeing the fruits that are going to start operating in your life. Hallelujah. Let's continue to sing about I'm a new creation. Amen.
received a thing Let's sing the next verse Cause I've received the Christ of Calvary I have no sense of sin We have a oneness and a fellowship Delivered from authority of sin says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He became a curse for us so that we can receive the blessing. Think of the cross as a divine exchange. Jesus became a curse. Those who would die on a cross in the days, they were called cursed. And Jesus, though he didn't do anything wrong, he was still a curse. But that curse that he was carrying was not the curse of being a murderer or being a any kind of evil, the curse he carried was our sin, our sickness and poverty. And in exchange, he has given you the blessing of healing, of prosperity. And every good blessing is in what he has done for you. In this next song, before we listen to the word, we're going to sing that. I know that I know I'm free from the curse of the law. Don't talk the curse constantly out of your mouth. Because death and life is in your tongue. So the more you talk about sickness, the more you talk about poverty, that's what's going to follow you. You've got to talk about what Jesus has given you, the blessing. And we're going to confess in this song and say, yes, I know I'm free from that curse. Hallelujah.
his words skill at life It causes my faith to grow tall For your words of life, you've spoken to us as we've been singing your word and reminding ourselves that we are new creations in Christ Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that this word becomes real in your people. They would start, and we would all start talking about the new man that we have, the new man that has changed us and the man that you have called us to be, Father. You've given us a new identity in Christ Jesus. And we can command sickness, we can command disease, lack and poverty to leave and it has to leave when we use our authority in Jesus' name. And we bind every foul spirit, tormenting spirits, we bind it in the name of Jesus. It has no authority over us for we have been free to receive the blessing. And we speak the blessing in our homes, in our workplace, wherever we go, we carry this blessing with us. You have called us to be the head and not the tail above only and not beneath and we choose to live this above lifestyle in jesus name amen hallelujah encourage somebody and say we are free in jesus name free in jesus name 